Oh, there you go. So this is my first picture. Notice things don't always work out as well as we want. So in this box right here, you can see that there are different things that you can input. Here's like a table, a bar graph, movie, smart art. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here to the picture icon from a file. It's going to then bring up my desktop, my documents, my downloads, whatever I've done. So here I have a picture. I'm gonna go ahead and select this picture, come down, click insert, and it should show up obviously, huh? always shows up upside down. Notice right here there's this little icon that shows you can spin it. I can rotate this around and ta-da! There I have a picture of something that I want to include. Um, this alt text, this is to provide a description of the item, the picture, just in case you have somebody that is visually impaired and using a screen reader, you can allow them to know what the picture is of. Okay, if you're not interested in doing it that way, I can go ahead and delete that. And I can also come up here to the top of my screen right here where it says insert. So I can go insert up here and then across the top you'll see a lot of choices. And I, again here I can go from my photo browser. So if I took a, a picture in my photos, I can go ahead and grab that. That's going to pull up images from my computer that have um, just pictures that I have on file. Maybe I have too many pictures. That's why it's taking um, a really long time. Um, not sure if this is going to work. Ah, here we go. So here's my granddaughter being Cookie Monster. I'm going to go ahead and select that and I can drag that over and that picture will, will upload. Um, notice over here on the side, there's this thing that's called design ideas. So maybe I think this is too boring. Um, I wanna change it up. I wanna come up with a different idea. I want a different look. You can always switch things um, around depending on which format you've selected. Um, if you want to add another picture, you just come up here to insert again and you can click on picture maybe I want to find something that's online so I over here if I'm looking for something you know like uh, maybe I want to add a birthday cake because my granddaughter just had a birthday um, I can take this and drag it over here or I can double click on it and now oops I have too big of a birthday cake for my granddaughter so what I'm gonna do now is notice there's all of these dots right here, these little squares. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller Then I can move this to where wherever I want. Um, I can also shrink my granddaughter's picture, kind of move that over here, move this over here. I can do whatever I want with my, with my pictures. Um, if I want to crop, I'm going to double click on that, come up here to crop. That's going to create these um, little lines here that allow me to change the size um, in any direction. If I choose the side ones, I'm going to be able to crop the size down. If I take the corner edge, it's going to bring down that corner size. Okay. So once I'm done, say me, I don't want this little piece in here. So I'm going to kind of crop that down like that. That looks a little bit better. Then I go back and I click crop and I have a much smaller picture of my granddaughter. Okay. Um, if you are looking to put something from the internet, like you decided that, Hey man, I really want some really cute clip art. Um, there are a couple of ways that you can do this. Maybe I want to show my granddaughter doing a lot of cool stuff. I'm going to right click on this, say copy image, go back to my, um, PowerPoint here, click on the PowerPoint, right click again to paste the image and voila, my image is now on that. Okay. So that's how you add pictures to your PowerPoint. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go up here to this little dot. When, uh, I want to show you this because when we're doing screen recording, this is the dot that you're going to be looking for. Okay. Hope this helps.